everybody. Welcome to George Langevin Productions Game of the Week. We're at the 2010 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. And we got a boys under 15 match just underway about 15 seconds ago. In green, the St. Louis Scott Gallagher SC Blue Squad. And they're going up against the Sagebrush United here in white. And I believe the Sagebrush United local team here, obviously St. Louis from Missouri. Boys under 15 match just underway, and we will have two 30-minute halves. No overtime. Just a bracket play game, so we'll see overtime tomorrow afternoon. But not just yet. So the free kick here on the near side, number 18, fires it. It's going to say just a little bit long, but actually turned out pretty good right in the middle. And on the header, rolls over to the far side, chased by number 28, Brandon Welch, and he just couldn't control it, goes out and goes over to St. Louis. We'll get to the roster for these squads as well here. 3.20 p.m. start today, the 13th of February, 2010, here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We got a field that's playing north-south right now. We're looking directly east. Maybe not directly, but... Northeast, I would say. Sun to our backs. So another edition here of the Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. Of course, they have one in October every year. And now, of course, I believe the last 10 years now, the one here in Las Vegas, or in uh, February. High into the air in front of the net. Cleared away by Sagebrush. Ball is out far side. Running it down, number 19. Kevin Partida for Sagebrush. So some action here early on. And the wind, it's been, you know, we talked about this. This is the, actually the third game that we've done today starting at around 8.30 this morning, and it was very calm. No wind, clear skies. We still have the clear skies, but you can see the flags in the far right corner there starting to pick up, so the wind is picking up. Could be a chilly night. But we're not done yet. We got another one after this. Ball put into play. St. Louis centers. Shot on goal wide of the net. Nice save by the keeper there. Kevin Brown. People always wonder that, well, why did he do that? If he would have let it go, they would have had a goal kick anyway. Well, yeah, but you also don't know if the ball might have skipped off one of his own players accidentally, and then if he would have let it go out, it would have been a corner kick. <laughs> Number 12 there fires it up across midfield for St. Louis, Patrick Reese. Patrick with some speed. You see him down the middle of the field there. See he battles Brandon Welch. Ball right around midfield, number 20 for St. Louis, Connor Sendobri. Ball goes out and belongs to Sagebrush. So for the St. Louis Scott Gallagher SC Blue Squad, boys under 15. Number one is Nathaniel Griffin. Number three is Faslo Alihodzic. Number four, number four is Benjamin Mode. Number five, Jason Klenke. Number six, Justin Graham. Number eight, Zach Cavanaugh. Number nine, David Skogland. Here on the near side, number 10, Michael Heffernan. Heffernan now moves towards the back line. Flag goes up, that's gonna go against Heffernan. Free kick there for Sagebrush. Number nine, David Skoglund. Number 10, Michael Heffernan. Number 11, Thomas Russo. Number 12, Patrick Reese. Number 13, Brendan Ebert. Number 14, Nicholas Jones. Number 20, Connor Sendobri. Number 21, Scott Laddie. And number 23, Jordan Stevens. The keeper for St. Louis is Jacob Leaker. Number five, Jason Klenke. 
Puts the ball into play. And as they battle here at midfield, there's a whistle that goes against Sagebrush. And so the free kick here for St. Louis. Justin Graham, number six, will take the kick. There's a kick, and he goes straight to the net. High into the air to collision there with the keeper at number nine as he comes across. That was David Skoglund. And so the kick there to Sagebrush. Nice play on both sides, actually. Ball out here near side. St. Louis will have it. And it's clinky. Who will put it into play. The head coach is Jim Cavanaugh for St. Louis. This is coach Rob Ebert. And the manager is Karen Russo. Patrick Reese, number 12, far side across midfield. Ball goes out. And into play off of Sagebrush. So again, St. Louis will have it number 20. Connor Sendori will put it into play right at midfield. Quick whistle by the referee today, but you can't blame him. A lot of collisions out there. So the free kick to Sagebrush will give you their rosters. Number three is Colton Ro Rodriguez. Number four, Johnny Lopez. Number six, Jer Hernandez. Number seven, Daniel Shapiro. And there's number four, Johnny Lopez. Goes to the back line. Clanky comes over. Help for number six, Justin Graham. And they try to pass it in front of the net there. And the keeper, Jacob Leaker, with the save. So back to the Sagebrush roster here, but now they got a breakaway number 28. Nice job by Leaker. And he's gonna come right back to the ball there. Clanky has a collision with him. Leaker's got a problem now as he holds his eye as he collided with his own player. And so the referee quickly stops the action. And hopefully Jacob is okay as his teammates are around him. All right, so after that collision there, Jacob Leaker will stay in the match. Shook it off. And so the action will start here on the left half. And they'll give it up to Sagebrush, number nine, David Skoglund. We still got to finish that Sagebrush roster for you. Number 18, trying to make his way in. That's Julio Soto. And Soto tripped up. So the free kick in a nice spot. Let's see if he goes right to the net. Soto's kick high into the air, right into the hands of Jacob Leaker, the keeper. Leaker rolls it out. Number three, Faso Alejozic. And so continuing with the Sagebrush roster, number eight, Jose Lopez, number nine, Brett Boyer, number 10, Tyler Van Dam, number 11, Juan Reyes, number 12, Keon Jones, Number 13, Christian Martinez. Number 15, Nolan Coben. Number 16, Urban Somera. Number 18, Julio Soto. Number 19, Kevin Partita. The keeper, Kevin Brown. Number 24, Alexis Martinez. Number 25, Michael Sammy. In front of the net, 
blocked away. So St. Louis turned away there. And number 28, Brandon Welch. There you have it, the rosters for each of these squads. Number 19, far side. Kevin Partita will try to keep the ball into play. But his last touch by St. Louis. Patrick Rees, far side, trying to make life difficult for number 28, Brandon Welch. And he does. The ball is out. Eleven minutes into this match, and now Leaker is going to have to come out. So he will be replaced. And so action will resume. Patrick Rees far side. Coming out of nowhere, number nine. David Skoglund, will he get the shot? He does pass the diving keeper. Taking it all the way, and so St. Louis up on top, 1-0. He raced right through the crowd there, turned it on, and just outran him. Perfect shot past the diving Kevin Brown. So the action will resume. Sagebrush, Sagebrush now trails. 1-0. Patrick Reese into the corner. Number 12, Keon Jones. Jones in the middle. Nice shot and save there with the left leg. Nice kick up across midfield. Skoglund again, number nine. And cleared back up to midfield. St. Louis with it. Now under the middle, number 22 comes away with it. Scott Laddie, big kid, hard to miss there in the middle. Now St. Louis spreading the field over to Rees, far side. Up the middle, they tried to reach Benjamin Mode, number four. Almost a high kick there, Sagebrush comes away with it. Keon nearly gets to it, cleared back to midfield. Number three, Fazo Alihudzic, upfield. And now on the attack, St. Louis, number 14, Nicholas Jones has his kick deflected, still in play. Number eight, Zach Cavanaugh. There's his cross, now it's gonna be a foot race. Both number four is Benjamin Maud and Johnny Lopez battling. Nice little flick back by number nine, David Skoglund. He's all over the field here today. Flag goes up. So the free kick here for Sagebrush. Clanky with the header here to the near side. And out. Green ball. Substitution far side for St. Louis coming out number three. Let's go. 
So Jason Klenke gets the ball into play. And a tackle there, number 24 for Sagebrush. That's going to be a card for sure. <laughs> so the yellow card he issued there. Now we're going to sort things out. So number 24 for Sage Rush with the yellow, Alexis Martinez, and also number nine for St. Louis. Justin Graham, number six, with the free kick. All right, there's the whistle. We can continue action now. Pooch right in front of the net. Nice job by the Sagebrush defense, clearing it out. Let's see if St. Louis can keep it here on the right half. They do. And a whistle, and that goes against St. Louis, so Sagebrush ball. In a way, that kind of goes against Sagebrush, though, because they had already cleared it up to midfield. And now they got to bring it back. <laughs> Martinez kick right down the middle. Clanky allows his keeper to get to that ball. And that whistle's gonna go against Sagebrush. It's a very active game. We're gonna have to keep an eye on things. Wouldn't like to see a brawl break out here, but these two teams already, after just about 15 minutes of play, don't like each other at all. Down the middle and right into the hands. So from about midfield, I take that shot on goal with the keeper, Kevin Brown, able to bring it in. And let's see, that's gonna go against St. Louis. And so Sagebrush will have it. They trail one nil. St. Louis really dictating the pace of this one right now. Patrick Reese battling Keon Jones, number 12. Here comes the kick, everyone in front of the net. Clanky gets the header, the first touch there. Rolls to the back line, can Lopez do anything with it there? Johnny Lopez, and it's lost out across the back line. Is it a goal kick, is it a corner? It's a goal kick, so it belongs to St. Louis. Substitutions coming in far side. Nice strong kick, well across midfield. At midfield, St. Louis trying to get to the ball, number nine. Nice job right there, number nine, David Skoglin. Gives his team a chance as they bring it back into the backfield now. Number four. Did a nice thing, he wanted to stop and change direction. St. Louis in front of the net, number 14, trying to set up Nicholas Jones. 
And it's cleared away. Patrick Reese trying to run it down. He does. He's got two white jerseys around him, though. Tries to go back to number 22, Scott Laddie. And it's Sagebrush who controls the ball. Ken Jones into the middle, goes up against Jason Klenke. Klenke with a nice defensive move right there. Can they get a shot? Number 16 here on the near side. He's in too deep, no angle. Moves again, cleared away. Nice job by St. Louis. Michael, that was awesome. Sagebrush quickly puts it into play. They trail 1-0 first half. Taken away by St. Louis. 21st minute of the match. Nine minutes to go here in the first half. On the ground. And picked up. Nice high kick. First touch again was by Skoglin. Number 10 trying to get there for St. Louis, Michael Heffernan. Ball high in the air, Nicholas Jones, number 14. Now fired over to the far side. It goes out and will belong to St. Louis. And it's Jones who will put it into play on the far side. Nice throw in the middle. They tried to get it off to number 10, Michael Heffernan. And cleared back to midfield by Sagebrush. Let's see if they can get something going here. The defense has been very tough for St. Louis, especially in deep in front of the net. Again, they try to get it to Keon Jones. Again, Clanky is there defensively, making it very difficult. Jones keeps it in play. Now he wants to come out, moves inside, and his kick is cleared away. Oh, that's a red card, Draft. Good Lord. So they get their feet tangled up there. Both players hit the ground. Ball belongs to Sagebrush. On, on a bounce. To the keeper. Number 23 upfield with that kick. Jordan Stevens. St. Louis now. Trying to make something happen on the right half, but they'll lose it. And now it's Sagebrush bringing it across midfield. Clanky with the takeaway off number 18, Julio Soto. And out here near side. Substitution for Sagebrush. Ken Jones will come out. Ball and play right here at midfield. Clanky fires it towards midfield. Number 10, Heffernan goes high into the air. It's got the header on it. Can number 14 come down with it though? Nicholas Jones tries to get back to it. <laughs> so the yellow card to number five, Jason Klenke. And number 11 will take the kick, Juan Reyes. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Reyes to the net. Nice job. And nothing doing there for Sagebrush. Sagebrush United trailing 1-0. Ball's going to roll to the far side and go out. 
It will be Sagebrush United ball. So just as the ball comes back in, oh, thought we were gonna get a push to the back, but it was a uh, an illegal throw in. Didn't put it over his head. We've seen that happen every now and again. He gives the ball over to St. Louis. So St. Louis now working without their starting keeper, Jacob Leaker. He was injured, they stopped play. Ran into his own player, it was clanky, I believe. Actually, it happened so long ago, I'm not sure, so I don't want to blame Jason Clanky. But he stayed in for another minute or two after he had recovered, but then had to come out, and it's been Nathaniel Griffin ever since. Ball far side of the field, number three, Ali Hodzik. On the attack, Sagebrush United towards the back line. Brandon Welch is going to run out of room. And the goal kick over to St. Louis. 27th minute of the half. Three to go. Nice strong kick. It's going to wind up right in the circle. First touch, Sagebrush United. Can they come down with it and control it though? And they do. Soto, number 18. Off Clanky, put into play by Julio Soto again. Near side. Off to Irvin Somera. And Somera with a shot on goal right to Nathaniel Griffin, who makes a stop. Griffin again, a towering shot, well across midfield. Martinez, might have been best served getting that ball right back to his keeper. But nevertheless, Sage Rush United will bring it across midfield. Soto here on the near side, Julio Soto, number 18, against Clanky. So number eight whistled for the trick, Zach Cavanaugh. Come on, Junior. Come on, Junior. Junior, come on. So Soto will take the kick. There's the defensive wall, three wide. Go, guys. And they're going to make it four. And who's going to take the kick here? Number 11 is there, Juan Reyes. Reyes does it right into the wall and cleared back up to midfield by St. Louis. So Sage Rush United can't take advantage of that opportunity there. Ball far side, shot on goal. It's going to be just wide, and they had Welch right in the middle there. Trying to attack, so if they would have uh, connected there, it would have been very close. and. On that final play, we'll bring the half to a close. Very exciting match so far, 1-0 in favor of St. Louis. I'm Kings Ultra George Landsver Productions. We're gonna take a break for halftime and be right back with the second half in just a few minutes. Welcome back, everybody. King is always here for George Lange of Productions, the start of the second half of this boys under 15 match. St. Louis with a 1 0 lead over Sagebrush United here. Final 30 minutes of play. Remember, we don't have overtime. It's a bracket play game, so we can end in a tie and an injured Sagebrush United player there far side. Straight away, right after the opening whistle. 
And let's see, is that number 15 or 13? And you'll have to come off. I believe that's number 13, Christian Martinez. And so United, Sage Rush United with the substitution early on here. This game started at 3.20 in the afternoon. So the action resumes on the far side there. Sagebrush United spreading the field here, and they bring it up to the near side. That's going to go out and will belong to St. Louis. Patrick Reese, number 12. We'll put the ball into play. Heffernan goes right back to number 14, Nicholas Jones. And Jones will put the ball into play. <laughs> nice toss right into the middle. First touch there by Sagebrush United and Heffernan with the left leg. Watch that one go off the side of his foot and out and we'll give the ball to Sagebrush United. <laughs> so the goal kick here for Sagebrush United. They want to clear it obviously away from their defensive third. Jones shot on the ground towards the net, but too many white jerseys between him. Come on, Brandon. And taken away by Sagebrush. Number 28, Brandon Welch with the header. Ball across midfield. And out. And let's see here. St. Louis will, I believe St. Louis has it. Number five, Jason Klinky there, far side, will put the ball into play right at midfield. Nice, Michael. Number 23, Jordan Stevens. Now on the circle, Patrick Reese. Taken away from Brandon Welch, over to the far side now. Number eight, Zach Cavanaugh. Cavanaugh moves past a couple of defenders into the middle to Heffernan, far side pass to number nine, David Skogland. Well done, Alex. And David has the ball taken away by Sagebrush United. Number 12 back in there, was very active in the first half, Keon Jones. Sagebrush United now moving left to right. Number three with the touch there. Colton Rodriguez. And picked up there by the keeper. Nathaniel Griffin, the left-legged kick. And that one's going to find itself right into the hands of the Sagebrush United keeper, Kevin Brown. Let's go, Jordan. Let's go, bud. Help him out up there. Brown's kick, first touch there by Jordan Stevens, number 23. Action here on the left half of the field. Still 1-0 in favor of St. Louis. And now they move right to left. Skoglin off to number four. Benjamin Maud, he's going to be tripped up from behind. His shot on goal right into the hands of the keeper, Kevin Brown. Didn't quite get all the power he wanted on that one because he ran into some trouble at the last second.
Skoglin tripped up, ball still in play. Number 12, Patrick Reese goes up against Welch again. That's a good matchup here today. Welch and Reese, very entertaining to watch. Brandon Welch, number 28, towards the back line. He's got to get around number 22, Scott Laddie. Shot on goal. They tried to cross it there for Jones. And Nathaniel Griffin with the save. George, you can't let him do that. Don't let him put that ball down the sideline on you, bud. Ball in the circle. Now on the right half of the field. Sagebrush United. Number 10, Tyler Van Dam. Get to the near side, number 25. Michael Sammy. Watch behind you, George. Number 11, Juan Reyes. To Sammy again. Ball taken away by St. Louis. And now across midfield, number 23, Jordan Stevens. And number 20, trying to work his way out of a jam right there, Connor Sendobri. And that's going to go against. Sagebrush United. Suck it up, George. Get your plan. Let's go. Come on. Be ready, Green. St. Louis now on the attack. Kick down the middle. Cleared out here to the near side. Green ball. Substitution on the far side, number 10, Michael Heffernan will come out. Patrick Reese, number 12, puts the ball into play. It's going to go towards the back line, out and cleared here to the near side. And again, Reese will put it into play for St. Louis. Throw comes in on a bounce in front of the net. Skoglund, number nine, nearly had a second opportunity there. But the keeper, Kevin Brown, right on top of things, snags it away. St. Louis keeps the pressure here in the defensive third of Sagebrush United. Connor Sendaberry. And that whistle going to go against Sagebrush United. So, Sendobri. Had the opportunity. And so now the ball out. Down on the ground. Free kick for St. Louis. You have number six. Justin Graham, number three. Oslo Alihudzic. Graham's kick to the net. Off Kevin Brown, but he pounces on it. And gets to the ball. So the save there for Kevin Brown and Sagebrush United. <clears throat> All at midfield now here on the left half. Sagebrush United trying to push the ball out of their own territory and now across midfield. Touch there, number 10. Tyler Van Dam. Keone Jones trying for that ball. Goes out far side off St. Louis. And Sagebrush United will put it into play. Number three there far side. Colton Rodriguez. Keone Jones loses it. He was surrounded by green jerseys. St. Louis still with a 1-0 lead over Sagebrush United. Shot towards the net. That's going to be well wide. And 
And the goal kick here for St. Louis. Kick right past Patrick Reese, and now will roll across midfield and out here on the near side. Untouched by anybody, so last touch there by St. Louis, and the ball will be put into play by Sage Rush United. Nice job by United, taking it across midfield towards the back line, number 19, Kevin Partita. He runs into some trouble. Sagebrush ball, they'll put it into play near side. Near the corner, off to Brendan Welch. His cross right into the hands of the keeper, Griffin. Keone Jones was there, just couldn't get to the ball in time though. Griffin with another strong kick. First touch, number 24, Alexis Martinez for Sagebrush United. David Skogel in there, number nine. There's a cross, a little bit long. Number 23, shot on goal, hits the side of the net. Jordan Stevens. Jordan, way to go, man. Way to hustle down there. So the ball belongs to. Sage Rush United. Substitutions. Number four will come out for St. Louis. Benjamin Mudd and let's see who was that? Get that number of the player that just came in for Benjamin. And of course that's number 14. Nicholas Jones. Keone Jones will fire that one into the back of the net from the corner, or from the near side here, had an angle. Had the keeper out from in front of the box, or front of the net there. And nobody there to defend for St. Louis, and so Sagebrush United has tied the match at one. Quick score. And so we've started a new ball game here. 1-1 one, one tie, second half. And Keone Jones, you know, we, we talk about it all the time when we film games, we're watching soccer, you keep knocking on the door and eventually you're gonna have one pop in and that's what happened there and the handball right there in front of the referee. We saw it here and then he saw it and the whistle. And so the ball goes over to St. Louis. Halfway through this second half, 15 minutes to go. High into the air, Heffernan was there, but it's gonna be long and nobody's gonna to get to it. And so the goal kick for Sage Rush United. Let's go Green, no tie guys, let's go. And Sagebrush kick high into the air. Keon Jones trying to make something happen. Number 22 dribbles it out, Scott Laddie. And his pass is gonna be taken back the other way by Sagebrush United. Keone Jones flies across the field. Number 19, Kevin Partita, far side. Sizing up with Jason Klenke. And the ball is out off green. So Sagebrush United will put it into play far side. Ball to the back line, taken away. And let's see, Keone Jones tries to save it from going out, can't do it. And the ball belongs to St. Louis. The only question is, is it out on the far side or is it a goal kick? And they're gonna say it went out on the side, so it'll be put into play. Try to get it to number nine, Skoglin there. Number 14, Nicholas Jones.
And that against St. Louis. Can't even keep track of the amount of free kicks we've had in this match so far. We've had maybe three or four yellow cards. It's very physical. Jose Lopez, number eight, with the kick. And high into the air, Nathaniel Griffin. Make sure nobody gets an attempt on that. Griffin fires it right down the middle of the field. Martinez with the header. Let's see who's going to come down to it, down with it here in the middle third. Martinez looking for somewhere to go into the circle with it now. Number 16, Irvin Somera. Somera sees Julio Soto here on the near side. There's his cross. Too many green jerseys are there, though, and they're going to clear it up towards midfield. Ball out far side. Belongs to Sagebrush United. And Sagebrush United wants some substitutions at midfield. Brennan Welch will come out, number 28. And I believe number three, Colton Rodriguez. Keon Jones, cross, meets its target there. Julio Soto, number 18. Soto looks into the middle. Now off to number 11, Juan Reyes. Now to the net, nice job right there, number 22, clearing it away, Scott Laddie for St. Louis. Patrick Reese can't get to it, still on the move towards the back line, number 16, Irvin Somera. Somera gets back to it. And fired up here towards midfield, goes out, St. Louis ball. So after the trip now, free kick for St. Louis. Nice one right down the middle. Now it's going to be a foot race here to the near side. Nicholas Jones, number 14, uses his body to try and gain some position. Ball taken away at the back line. Now here in the near side, taken away by Sagebrush United. Somera, crossfield pass at midfield. Number 19, Kevin Partita. Partita now in the middle. Tried to get it up to number 13, Christian Martinez. Couldn't do it. Defense was there for St. Louis. Now we've got a match. Now things are getting a little hectic out there. The pace has picked up considerably in the last few minutes. Now these two teams have shown up to play. Ball towards the back line, Patrick Reese battling, keeps it away from number 13, Christian Martinez, nice job. Collide amongst themselves. And that's gonna go back to Kevin Brown, the keeper for Sagebrush United. Ball out near side. Julio Soto, number 18, will put it into play. <laughs> Ball center now rolls far side, number 19, Kevin Partita. Partita, nowhere to go. Now he's going to move towards the back line. He's going to lose his footing. Quick whistle, and again, that ball will belong to Sagebrush United. But again, another instance where the whistle really is a disadvantage because they still had possession of the ball, and we're going to use the back line, and that will hit the side of the net. Nice job there by Griffin. So 
you know, in a sense, yeah, they do get the free kick, but they may have been better off at the play just continuing. Number eight, Zach Cavanaugh. Cavanaugh looking for somewhere to go. Ball out, green ball, should be St. Louis. Nicholas Jones, number 14, will put the ball into play here near side. Green, how much time left? Let's go! Watch it, Michael! Jones' pass comes in. It's going to be deflected right back to him here on the near side. Heffernan there, number 10. Can he get a shot? Puts it into the middle. Cleared out. And a trip right there. Number 23, Steven, Jordan Stevens guilty. All belongs to Sagebrush United in their half of the field. Seven minutes to go. go green, seven minutes. All across midfield, high in the air. Keone Jones. Nice job by the St. Louis defense there as they come away with it. Number six down the middle of the field, Justin Graham. Try to get the ball off to number 20, Connor Sendori. Ball here near side, Soto. Tries to get it to Jones. It's going to get away from number 12, Patrick Reese. Keone Jones can be dangerous by himself. There's this cross. It's going to be too long. Actually saved at the last second, but nobody was home in front of the net for Sagebrush United, Keone Jones came over at the last minute, but not in position. And we've got an injured player at midfield for Sagebrush United. So number 16 with the injury there, Irvin Somera, that's kind of a big deal for Sagebrush United. Somera has been very busy here in the second half, so that could play into the hands of St. Louis the rest of the way. Jason Klinke trying to run it down over on the far side. And St. Louis wants substitution. Number four will come out. So Benjamin will take a break and Skoglin, number nine. Heffernan with the touch and it's gonna go right off number 10 and right over to Sagebrush United. We're tied at one, just about five minutes to go. Four minutes. So let's see if one of these two teams can push out on top in the final four minutes, or will we end in a tie? Remember, no overtime. Watch it, Michael. Watch it. Watch it, Michael. Man on. Just a little too much on that one. And it'll roll out here near side. Let's go, Green. Five minutes, guys. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five more minutes. Substitutions for Sagebrush United. Number 12, Keone Jones will come out. Leo Soto will put the ball into play. St. Louis with the takeaway, but can they bring it across midfield? No, Soto again takes it. Scott Laddie fires it across midfield over to the far side. Number eight will pick it up, Jose Lopez. Flag goes up. 
on the far side. So the ball goes over to Sagebrush United. So as the play resumes, ball rolls far side. Let's see if St. Louis can clear it away. Ball in the circle. Sagebrush United, they want to move left to right. They do. Down the middle of the field. Across midfield. Jordan Stevens fires it upfield to the keeper. And Kevin Brown will clear it up to midfield. Oh, nearly getting to that ball there. Number three, Fazlo Alihodzic. And now we're going to have a whistle, and the ball will go the other way. So it belongs to St. Louis. Again, tied at one. Final moments here of this match. Watch it, Michael. Watch it. About three minutes to go. Ball far side of the field, number nine keeps it in play. Brett Boyer for Sagebrush United. Brett Boyer, you know, on some action there. Again, Sagebrush United. So here we go with just a few minutes remaining. St. Louis with the ball, they get the free kick in a nice position. Let's see if they can capitalize and make something happen here. Number six, Justin Graham will take the kick. Watch it wide, Jordan, watch it wide. Come on, Max. Come on, guys, go. Graham, over to the far side. They're trying to come inside, cleared away. Back to Graham. Let's see if somebody can break through here. Right now, St. Louis with an opportunity, but they're going to lose the ball. Sagebrush United across midfield. They got a lot of room to operate here on the near side. Number 25, Michael Sammy. Sammy trying to get around the defenders, uses the left leg. They come in even deeper. The green jerseys got to get in front of the net, and that shot on goal well over the crossbar. So St. Louis now with an opportunity. to clear out of their backfield, send it upfield, maybe even play for the last possession. Under two minutes to go here in this match. So time is everything right now across midfield. Number nine, David Skoglin. Nobody in front of him though as he passed it up towards the net and the white jerseys, Sagebrush United will take it away, trying to get to it now, number 20. Connor Sendobri. And a push there, far side, that's gonna go against St. Louis. And so Sagebrush United, We'll have it with an opportunity to bring it up, but yeah, we're hearing whistles all around us, so there can't be more than 30 seconds left in this match. And it is very much looking like we will end this one in a tie. And just as the kick comes down, there's the whistle and the end of this match. Each squad with a goal in each half. So one goal for St. Louis in the first half, one goal for Sagebrush United in the second. And that's how we will end. And you see them shaking hands there. That's very cool because they played with a bit of animosity out there today and a lot of physical play. So cool heads prevail. So we're going to end this one in a tie. We're at the 2010 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. King Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions bringing you to another game of the week. Again, the final score, the St. Louis got Gallagher SC Blue 1, Sagebrush United Red 1. And until next time, have a great day, everyone. We'll see you later.
All right, we are back here, King's Oscar George Landsman Productions. We're at the 2010 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. Just saw a boys under 15 match and in a tie, 1-1, St. Louis Scott Gallagher. We got some of the team uh, here for some post-game interviews. So, guys, why don't you introduce yourself, give me your name, your number, and any positions you play. Um, I'm Jordan Stevens, and I play Ford. Uh, I'm Nick Jones. I'm 14, and I play Ford. I'm Daniel Scoglin, number nine. I'm forward. All right, so you just had a uh, pretty tough match, you know, right there. How would you classify your play today as a team? Well, I think our team played pretty well today, but we just, I don't know, we just didn't, we just let them buy at the end, and we shouldn't have. Yeah, I thought in the first half you guys might have been able to put some distance between them. Yeah, well, I mean, we just kind of, like, let up at the end, and they got a lucky goal, so. Right. What can you do? Now, you had the first goal, correct? Tell us what happened on that play. Well, actually, he gave me the ball from the sideline, and uh, I had a hole, and I just ran from half field and put it in the far post corner. Yeah, I think you outran, I think, four defenders right in the middle. Yeah, we're, we're all three faster than all their defenders, so it was, it was a good goal, I think, by all and of so us. The, the rest of the way, was it? did they kind of key on him a little more? Did it make it tougher for you to get the ball to him? Uh, uh, whenever I just passed him the ball at the beginning, and then as soon as I got the ball, I saw him take the hole, like he said. And so I wrapped around just in case he'd lay it off to me, and he took it all the way and finished. Yeah. Did they make some decent adjustments then at halftime to kind of slow you guys down? Um, they had better marking after the goal, but other than that, I mean, it just played the same. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't much difference. Now, when you've got, you know, the speed advantage, against you know some of the guys that you're going up against what are some of the things that they're going to try to do to stop you from you know stopping their offense basically well they they step in and try to foul you obviously if they're too slow then they just try to step in and push you off the ball so i i gotta try to avoid it you know there's there's nothing you can do really exactly <laughs> all right so now how many years have you been on this squad uh, this will be my second year on the team. Second year? Yes. And do you play any other sports besides soccer? Uh, not at the moment. Nope. All right, how about you? How many years have you been here? This is my fir first full year, so. Really? Yeah. Were you on another club and moved over? Well, I was on another team here, and then I just moved up to this team. Okay. And how about you? It's my third year on the team, yeah. So I was on a lower team, too, like him, and I got moved up yeah. to this one. So you like this team, obviously? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good and team. this is your first trip out here, right? Yes. Yeah. First time. First time to Las Vegas for everybody? Yes. Yeah. And obviously first time in this tournament. What do you think so far? Uh, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, I didn't get to see it at night yesterday. Like, I didn't get to see the right. Vegas lights, but I think tonight we might go to the strip or something fun. You got to see it tonight. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just just like being around here, and just, I love the weather. Weather's great, and everything's just pretty good. So. It's a little colder back home, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got <laughs> snow all over back there. <laughs> so what do you, do you guys want to do that stratosphere thing? Yeah, we passed that on the way by. That looks pretty sweet, yeah. It's a little too high, I think. All right, well, here's your chance to say hi to anybody you want back home, and then you guys are out of here. Hey, Mom. Mom. What's up, Dad? All right. Yeah, Mom, Dad. How you doing? All right, guys. All right, good job today. Hopefully we'll see you all tomorrow, and we'll wave to the camera, and you're out of here. All right, we are back here as we continue the post-game interviews. we got four more guys, and they're going to introduce themselves. I'm Justin Graham, number six, and uh, I play sweeper. Uh, Connor Shindobri, center midfielder, number 20. Patrick Reese, number 12, uh, midfield. Jacob Leaker, number 5, goalie. All right. All right, so this was your second game, the Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. First one didn't turn out probably the way you wanted it to. 1-0, but I heard you guys could have won that game. Yeah, it was pretty close. They just came out with a goal late. Or really? Oh, it was yeah. late? No, it was pretty early, actually. I was thinking it was late, but it was close. <laughs> late, early, it was still one, right? Yeah. Well, how close did you guys come to, like, scoring? at all? Uh, we should have scored, should have won. Uh, second half, kind of let down a little, didn't play too well. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Could have won though. Could have won. Should have won. Should have won. won. So obviously you passed that game, you're on this one yeah. now. Yeah. You're up 1-0. In the second half they get a score. Did you think you'd come back on them though? Uh, I, I, I had hope. <laughs> I had hope in my team, but uh, I, I thought we could have. Yeah? Yeah. You thought so? Why didn't you do some coaching on the sideline? I, I was trying. I was directing, and it just didn't work out too swell. Maybe you need to yell a little louder. All right, I will. We'll, we'll look at that. 
Well, everyone's had their input on this game. Now it's your turn. Yeah. What went wrong? What went right? Uh, well, we couldn't finish, but we... I don't really know what went right, but... <laughs> <laughs> he got hurt. We scored. I got hurt. But we... Were you the keeper? Yes. Yes. What happened then? Tell us. I don't really know. I think I got hit in the face. By your own teammate? Yes. Which one? Planky. Planky. Jason. Yeah. So it was his fault? Yeah. Really? <laughs> but you stayed in and then you had to come out. So what, you thought you could go? And yeah. Pain was too, pain was too much. Really? Yeah. You seem fine now. Yeah, I had eyes. Yeah. So, all, right. all right. So back home, how, how much of the year do you guys spend playing soccer? Because of the weather, I mean, you play indoor, outdoor. Uh, this team, we go until high school season, and then right after high school season's over, we start it up again. But otherwise, just playing soccer's all year round. So, do you all play high school too? Yeah, you do. Do any of you play on the same team? All different schools. Yeah, all different schools are all around. Everyone goes different places. Does that make it tough at all? Like, do you guys play against each other? Uh, not my team, but uh, yeah, it's kind of hard because high school will. They'll teach us something different, and uh, so when we come back here, we have to adjust to this coaching style. Right. Yeah. High schools tend to go with the long ball, don't you think? Yeah. 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 Did I have that right? Yeah. I just guess. They do. You're right. right. They do. Yeah. They do, because you watch it. They go with the long ball. They're not as skilled. No, they're not. At all. No. All right. Any other sports for anybody else here uh, besides soccer? I kick field goals and I play basketball. Kick field goals, that's yeah. in football, right? Yeah, for high school. Just basketball? Just basketball? Just basketball. And soccer? And soccer, of course. Uh, nothing this year. Nothing this year. Basketball. Basketball? Yeah. All right. Pretty cool. Who do you want to say hi to back home? Uh, my mom, my grandma, and my grandpa. Hi. <laughs> Got them all? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just my mom and my dad. Yeah. Grandmas. Yeah. My little brother, Jack. Yeah. I love you, sir. Is that it? Yes, that's all. All right, my family, too. Yeah, you don't want to miss that. My family. Yeah, are they all back home? Uh, no, my dad's here. Your dad's here? Yeah. But the rest of them are back? Yeah. All right, anybody want to say anything else? Now's your chance. Forever you can hold it. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Can't do that. All right, guys, well, hopefully you get a victory in your first game tomorrow. Then you get into the uh, elimination bracket, so we'll be rooting yeah. for you. And uh, now it's time to send four more of your uh, your mates over. All right. We got a group of four guys right here, and they're already starting to make me laugh. So they better be on cue for these interviews because they got a lot of people back there watching them. All right, give me your name, number, and your position. Zach, eight, and midfielder. I'd be uh, Michael Heffernan, and I'm number ten, and I'm a midfielder. Tommy Russo, uh, number eleven. And I'm a left defense. Brendan Ebert, number 13, and play wing back. Weren't you wearing number 12 in this game? Yes, I was. Uh, screwed my roster up. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. Really sorry about Jerk. that. I called you Patrick Reese the whole game. Oh, yikes. Oh. Just when you watch this. All right. Well, this is screw up on my part. Sorry about that, sir. Why'd you make that switch last second? Uh, I just forgot my jersey at home. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. That's embarrassing. That was quite embarrassing for me. Because I'm calling you somebody else the whole game. Gosh. God. It is. <laughs> All right, so this is your first trip out here. Is this your first trip to Las Vegas or not? Yes. Yes. All of you? Yes. Oh, this will be a great question then. So what, what are some of the things you plan on doing when you're not playing the soccer? The strip. The strip? Yes. Any particular hotel? JW Marriott. The JW Marriott. No, that's where we stay at. Right. But, like, what casino, what big casino do you want to see? Caesar's Palace. The Red yeah. The Red do you know if Caesar's Palace is actually where Caesar lived? I doubt it. Huh. Doubt it. Because it's only, like, 40 years old. I'm going to get a cig on my beeper. <laughs> Who, where do you want to go? Uh. <laughs> you gotta, I'd like to get a page. What? Someone calling you right now? No, it's from a movie called The Hangover. Uh, but I'd like to go to. The Red Dome. Uh, the Red Dome. What is that? I don't know. It's a big red dome. I, we didn't know the name of it. <laughs> oh, you mean Circus Circus? Circus Circus. No, you, cir don't, you don't want to go to the red dome. I don't, actually. I wanted to go on that, uh, there's a, there's a huge skinny tower. It cool. The stratosphere with the with the uh, roller coaster? Yeah, it, it was like, it was oh, like you're, about, you're about to go yeah, off the ledge. You don't want to. You didn't. You go way yeah, back, back, back up. It's too tall. It's too hot. Oh, All right, awesome. and the next thing I want to do, I saw go-karts on the way here. I want to hit that up. Go-karts? Don't you have those at home? 
No, no, it was, it was like a track and everything, so it was like we can go with our team, it'd be fun. All right, how about you? Uh, I don't know. Caesar's Palace. Everyone wants to go to Caesar's. Caesar. Jerry Seinfeld. It just sounds um, really sweet. How do you know? Because he's like, oh, he's like, oh, I'll go. <laughs> exactly. So Caesar's, that's cool. They got a cool bunch of cool shops you can go to. But if, if you get the chance, you need to go to Mandalay Bay. Oh, really? oh, that looked cool, too. That, that looked cool, too. They got Shark Reef there. You can go see some sharks. They got a beach. Yes. Oh, you go to the beach. A beach in the hotel? There. In the hotel. In the real ocean? Well, it's outside. It's outside. What's, awesome. what's cheetahs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he knows that. But no, we're, we're going to it's got a beach. You got to go to Manchester. Justin Bay. Graham, everybody. It's on the very end of the strip. All right, we're going. It's where the UFC has all their fights, too. Mom, we're going. Where? Here to that. So, UFC fights there? UFC fights at Mandalay Bay. Exactly. Yeah. You might run into Chuck Liddell. You never know. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how long have you been on this squad here? Uh, since I was like eight. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah I was the founder. Original, original. Really? So you guys are the original? Let's see right here. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Really? So, like, is this the best this team has ever been? No, not at all. No? We are not playing a top soccer. Yeah. No? What could you have done better today, like, in it, for instance? We were just flat. I mean, the other team wanted more, and we were flat. That's all I got to say. Just flat? Yeah. Patrick, would you say that you were flat? Um, yeah, a little flat. A little out of shape. Out of shape? How can you guys be out of shape? Well, like, when's the last time you played? Well, we had, uh, we've only been practicing for, like, a couple, <laughs> couple of weeks. We haven't been practicing that long, so bless you. You practice indoor or out right now? We practice, uh, we practice like three indoor and then a couple, like mostly out, but yeah. yeah. He's looking at you like giving some good answers. Yeah. Do you agree with what he said? Um, I think we're fit, but we're just flat and we, want, we, we don't want it enough. That's pretty cool. It's not what he said, but <laughs> no, it's not. I'll go with it. That's cool. So tomorrow you're not going to come out flat, right? No. We're gonna get some sleep. Get some sleep. No, you're not. You're gonna. You're going on the strip. Uh, we'll get like. We're gonna strip and stand up all night. We're not gonna stay there all night. No. no. Mandalay Bay, though, you have to go. Yes. That will be the Yeah. Night. Maybe our last. Day, that might be our last thing to do before we go. Okay. We Very cool. All right. Now's your chance to say hello to anyone and everyone you want to back home. Can I say hi to Ashley Gerard, my girlfriend? Oh. Ooh. Yeah. You're the only one to say hi to a girlfriend so far. Ooh, what about, what about the pig why, why all the oozing on? I'd like to say hi to my dog, Mac. Mac. Anyone else? I miss him. Uh, and my family. Are they taking care of the dog? I hope so. Yeah, yeah family. Say hi. <laughs> hi, Ab. Hi, Matt. Hi, Rudy. Hey, Capetee. Hey, Fishes. You forgot Abby. I said Abby. And, yeah, it's, it's good. good. Yeah, man. All right. I guess my family too. You guess? You're not like certain? Well, my sister and my mom and my younger brother. Yeah? Yeah. You good? Yeah. All right, it's... Say hi to the camera. Whatever you want. Hi. Little wave. You guys are done. Send in more. All right, final group here. Boys uh, under 15. So you could be like 12s, 13s. Yeah. Right? Under 15s. Is there anybody actually 15? Yeah, 15. I am. I am. Yeah. That's rare. All right, so they're going to introduce themselves. The St. Louis Scott Gallagher. Is that the whole the proper name of this team? Yes. It is? Yeah, our coach is Kavanaugh, so we go by St. Louis Scott, Gall St. Louis Scott Gallagher Kavanaugh. Really? Like, yeah. Okay. All right, name, number, position. Ben Moody, number four, I play forward and midfield. Scott Laddie, number 22, I play sweeper. Uh, Jason Klinke, number five, I play defense. I think Griffin, number one, goalie. Uh, Foslo, I play midfield. <laughs> All right, and if you watch this game again, you, I'm sorry, but I think I pronounced your name like three different ways. But I'm just apologizing right now for it. So you, your teammates said you all came out flat, and I guess you all agree with that? Yeah. Yeah? So what can you do tomorrow to make sure that doesn't happen? Just start out strong, be ready from, from the first whistle. Yeah? When did you like get ready today? Like, was the first game kind of weird, and then it took a while to get into it? No, I was ready for the first game. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Now, you had a pretty physical game out there today. Were you one of the guys that got tackled? Yeah. Yeah, what happened on that? And how did you both get a card when you got tackled? Uh, I didn't get a card, but it was, there was, was no, there was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of hard tackles today. I mean, I just go into every tackle as hard as I can. No matter if I get knocked down or the other guy gets knocked down, I go as hard as I can. Does that happen a lot to you? 
Uh, not usually. I mean, I'll get knocked off the ball sometimes, but usually I'm not. I'm not. I'm the one knocking people. Yeah, the teams. This team was from Las Vegas area. You just played. They're known for like being very physical. Do you see teams like this a lot? Uh, yeah, we do. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, huh? we see a lot of teams that are very chippy. Why is that? I don't. I don't know. I mean, I have a theory. Do you, could it be that you guys are fast, like too fast, and so that's what they're trying to do? That could be. You're looking at me like I'm an idiot. Oh no. I mean, is that like a true? I mean, could that possibly be? That it could. <laughs> Could be. Could be. All right, so you had to come in and play the rest of the way, right? Yeah. 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 yeah after Jake got hurt, I came in. Are you ready to go? Uh, yeah, mostly. Like, I warmed mostly. up with him. Yeah. Yeah? I warmed up with Jake, so I was so pretty ready. ready to go? Yeah. Have you ever had to do that before? Like, come in when someone got injured? Not really. Like, usually, like, I started the first game, we started the second game. Right. And so I didn't think it would happen. I thought I'd, he'd play the whole game, so I didn't. I know we had you scheduled to be the starter, and then they had to come yeah. and tell us. Yeah. And then you were in there anyway. So yeah. Didn't really yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, how long have you been on this team? Mm, two years. Two years. And why did you elect to come onto this team? Um, I heard that this team is good. And yeah. have you ever played against them? Uh, no. But I played against the Scott Gallagher team, but never this team. Really? Yeah. And you're like, I got to play for that club. Yeah. Much better than the one you were with. Yeah. yeah. All right. Do you play any other sports? Yeah, I play hockey. Hockey? Yeah. Really? My cameraman here is going to go bet on hockey tonight. Nice. Is that? What's your favorite team? Blackhawks? No, Blues. The Blues. Mm -hmm. That's right. You guys are from St. Louis. Why did I say Chicago? <laughs> volleyball. Volleyball? Yes. Really? Like uh, indoor, like on the basketball court volleyball? Yeah. Not sand volleyball? No. They have sand volleyball at Mandalay Bay. All right. I'll uh, check it out. So how would you get into volleyball? Um, I played when I was in CYC. My mom taught me how to play, and really? I thought I was halfway decent, so I decided to go out, and we, I had a really good time freshman year, so now I'm going off sophomore year. What's the best part of your volleyball game? Um, slamming into the floor really? all the time. <laughs> I could see that. I could see that. How about you? Um, I used to play baseball, but I quit this year. <laughs> you did? Just this year? Uh, well, last spring. That's when I decided to quit. Mm -hmm. Full time with the soccer? Yep. What position did you play? Uh, first base. Really? Mm -hmm. Did you like it? Yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. Did you ever have problems with the umpires? No. Never? No. Really? Yeah. I'm sure your teammates did, some of them. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Coaches. Mm -hmm. It's a rarity. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I played baseball, but I'm not going to play in high school. I no? focus on soccer. Soccer. What position did you play in baseball? I was catcher and pitcher. Really? Catcher? Yeah. It's a big catcher? Yeah. So as a catcher, you probably never argued with the umpires. Uh, they get really close sometimes. I go up to throw it and I like hit them. And yeah, like do they ever put their hand on your back? Yeah, they, have. they shouldn't yeah. do that. It's, it's kind of annoying. You shouldn't do that. It's a bad form. All right, you? Any other sports? I played basketball in eighth grade, but then I just focused on soccer. So yeah. I got so everyone's basketball. like soccer here. Yeah. We met, we lost all the the crowd. The audience, yeah. The whole audience. It made it funny. We lost it. All right, who do you want to say hi to back home? My family. Yeah, any names in particular? Just family? Yeah. Yeah? Right. No animals? My dog, I guess. Um, just my family. Yeah? Yeah. Are they all back home? Yes. Yeah. Uh, my mom, dad, and brother. So basically my family. All right. <laughs> uh, my family and my dog. Yeah. Buddy. Buddy? Yeah. The dog's a buddy? Yeah. Um, everybody that supports me and thinks, you know, like my family and stuff. Yeah. yeah. See, that's a great answer. You should listen to him. <laughs> like they're all like, okay, okay, we will. All right, guys. Well, congratulations. You know, coming out here to uh, Las Vegas Mayor's Cup, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. All right, well, that'll wrap it up for us here at the 2010 Las Vegas Mayor's Cup. The St. Louis Scott Gallagher squad, boys under 15. As they say in hockey, they skated to a 1-1 tie, but we're not playing hockey, so uh, we're playing soccer. 1-1 was the final. Some funny kids there. Pretty cool. They're going to go out on the strip and uh, tear it up, I guess, tonight. So uh, until next time, have a great day, everybody.